Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to measure the pH of your soil in a natural, uh, cheap, easy way. You don't need any gadgets, any instruments, you only need this red cabbage. What? Yeah, you only need this red cabbage. I'm going to show you how to do it. And why is it important to know the pH of your soil? If the soil is too acidic or too alkaline, uh, the availability of nutrients in the soil cannot be sufficient and the, the capability of your plants or crop to absorb those nutrients uh, is highly affected. And how can a red cabbage uh, measure the pH of the soil or something else? Because you can use it to measure the pH of your soil or something else that you want to measure the pH. How can it do it? Why? It is because it has a, a natural chemical um, that gives this purple color that is called uh, anthocyanine and it is anthocyanine that changes its color in uh, reaction in contact with uh, different uh, pH. Let's go to the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make this experiment. It's very fun, very cool, it's great to make at home with children, they love it. It reminds the, the experiments that uh, uh, we made in school when we were kids. So, let's do it. So, you only need uh, one leaf or a little bit of the, the red cabbage. Perhaps a quantity. You don't need too much. More or less this can be sufficient. Okay. Cut it. Next, you're going to blend it. Use a blender or something that makes the same job. Put around one liter of water and if you use mineral water uh, it is good because you can check if it has a neutral or near a neutral pH. Blend it. Okay. Then use a strainer to strain this liquid. Okay, and now this is the liquid we're going to use to test the pH of the soil and of other uh, liquids. You can put more water for it not to get uh, so, with the color so uh, dark. And here you have here you have the liquid you're going to use to test the pH and to measure the pH. So now we have here the liquid and we're going to test how it works with these samples over here of other liquids. And over here we have lemon juice that is highly acidic, vinegar that also is acidic, water, neutral water, toothpaste uh, with water that is uh, alkaline, baking soda that is alkaline and bleach that is uh, highly alkaline. So, let's see how this works. I'm going to put the red cabbage liquid in water and it stays with the same color because it is neutral. In contact with the neutral liquid or substance, it maintains a purple color. Now, let's put lemon juice that is highly acid and it gets a pink, pink reddish color. It gets a pink reddish color. Now, vinegar, also acid. 
and it gets a pink color, not so red, uh, so it's in between purple and red, so it is not so acid as lemon. And over here, toothpaste that is alkaline. It gets a, a bluish color. Over here, baking soda. Uh, a dark blue color. So I think this one is more alkaline than this one. Okay. And over here, bleach. That is highly alkaline and it gets a uh, yellow, more or less yellow color. Over here you have an acid with the pH of around 2. Over here vinegar, a pH of around 3, 2 to 3. Over here uh, a 7 pH, so it's neutral. Over here this is baking soda, that is around 8 and 9 uh, pH. Over here, uh, toothpaste, also around 8, 9, 10 uh, um, pH. And over here, bleach, that has 13 of pH, it is highly alkaline. So with, this, with these colors, you can measure more or less uh, what's the level of pH that your soil has. So, so let's measure the, the soil. Over here, I have a plant with some soil, obviously, and I'm going to take out some soil. So don't take out the, the upper layer because it has lots of uh, organic uh, stuff. So go a little bit deep and take some soil. Don't take too much, one spoon. One spoon is sufficient, like this, okay, put the liquid, okay, loosen the soil inside the water, mix it well. And now we're going to wait uh, around 15 to 30 minutes for it to gain color. And then with the color it obtains, we can see which is the pH of the soil. So let's wait a little bit and we'll check it in an instant. So I waited 20 minutes and now you can see the color. And the color seems slightly blue. So this means that this soil is alkaline. What is not, this is not good because this kind of plant, this is a, a, a Dracayana, uh, that is called also a false palm. This plant uh, needs a soil with a, a slightly acidic pH. And what happens is the pH over here is alkaline. But I made another test and I, uh, I measured the pH of this uh, soil of this uh, palm tree I have here. And I got, I got another color. In this case, the soil is purple. You can see it is, uh, it is equal to the color of, uh, of water, of the, the measurement of water. So it is neutral. In this case, it has a good soil because um, palm trees need uh, a slightly alkaline to slightly acidic soil. So if this is neutral, it has a good soil. If this plant develops any problems in the future, the first thing I'm going to suspect is the pH of the soil. For now, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do anything, but in the future, if I want to correct the pH of the soil, uh, for plants in pots, don't add substances. Uh, if you have a garden, you can add some substances to correct the pH of the soil. But if you have a, a pot or container, don't add substances. Uh, it is not the best thing to do to correct the pH. 
So what you have to do in this case is change the soil. Take out the plant uh, and put it in another pot or the same pot with new soil with an optimal pH for this plant. Please don't forget to put the thumbs up in the video and to subscribe. See you and bye bye.